Joining me in our Washington studio is Eleanor Cliff. She's a senior political correspondent for the Daily Beast News and Opinion website. Eleanor, welcome to our program. Thank you. Does this book really change anything, especially for the people who voted for Donald Trump? The book doesn't tell us anything that we haven't been hearing for the almost two years that this president has been in the White House. But it does come with the imprimatur of a uh, famous journalist who does tape everything, keeps careful notes. And so I think it's very difficult to say that what's in this book is not accurate. But when the anonymous column came out, actually the day after the Woodward excerpts, I think there was some feeling for a day or two that it might set off a chain reaction and we would see a lot of you know, confessions and denials and perhaps people coming forward. Uh, but nothing has happened. And the president is ba basically using this to bolster his belief that the, the deep state is out to get him. And the people who voted for him are probably going to choose uh, to believe that. So I don't think anything changes in terms of support for the president. But I think the anxiety level of what this president might do to protect his Mm -hmm. office and protect his name. I think that anxiety level has risen exponentially when we see in the Woodward book specific examples of him wanting well, to assassinate someone. Well, let's talk about sort of those thing. specific examples. Yeah. Um, lots of interesting bombshells, if you will. Is right. there one that stands out in your mind in particular? Well, I think the one that stands out is the one where he, he uh, would like to assassinate uh, Assad, the president of Syria. And the defense secretary, James Mattis, basically says, well, we'll get right on that, and hangs up the phone with the president and says to everybody around him, we're not doing that. Uh, so I think that uh, James Mattis, the secretary of defense, has probably told people at the Pentagon not to take any direct orders, especially having to do with nuclear weapons, from this president. And there is precedent for that. In the Nixon uh, White House, when the final days, and he was kind of losing his grip, the then Defense Secretary James Schlesinger went to the Pentagon uh, chiefs and said, you know, if you get an order from the president, it has to go through me. So I think those safeguards have been put in place already in this administration. And now that we're hearing about them, I think it only makes this president more paranoid, more isolated, and more dangerous. So uh, there's a series of polls out, Eleanor, and not just one, not two, a number of them that really show a big drop in President Trump's approval rating. How much do you think this book and then that op-ed in the New York Times, and then maybe even Trump's comments after Senator McCain's death, his initial comments, mm -hmm. how much do you think all of those were a factor here, and how will it play out in midterm elections? Yeah, I think that's a factor for people who are calling themselves independents, who didn't necessarily weren't all out for Trump. I think they're having second thoughts, and they might stay home, or they might even vote for a Democrat. I think they're affected. But I think the, some of the president's policies are also costing. The tax cut, which he's so proud of, uh, ordinary people aren't really feeling any great benefit. And the, the tariffs have really hit farmers in the Midwest, and they're worried about their soybean crops. And the immigration crackdown. Uh, a lot of the crops in this country are picked by migrant labor. And uh, so people who deal in, in that area are also nervous. So I think the president's policies in specific districts are, are hurting. But um, the map is so gerrymandered in favor of Republicans that the Democrats are really going to have to get out there. And you have former President Obama trying to motivate uh, young people, millennials. In the last midterm uh, election in 2014, only one out of five young people voted. If they voted, they could, they could change the country. And that's the message that the president's trying to get, that president, former president is trying former to get across. Former President Obama, that's right. <laughs> Eleanor Cliff, thank you so much. Right, thank you.